Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Behemoth. Today I'm going to be showing you and telling you how to use the power control for the Android operating system for various phones. Uh, this is mainly going to be a video for you know people that don't even know about it or maybe heard and want to know how to activate it or to get it working anyway. Uh, it's simple, easy enough. So here we go. Just uh, go ahead and hold down a blank spot on your home screen you should get this pop-up saying add to home screen go ahead and click on widgets and then from here you're gonna have a, a list of different widgets that you can actually put on the home screen uh, you know the more stuff you download the the more widgets will be here basics ones are usually always in there just go down to the P for power control this is the one we're talking about today and once you click on it, it will come up. Make sure you have four spots open in a row so it would fit. If it doesn't fit, it won't come up. The uh, Now, just to give a little, uh, you know, actually, first of all, let me go back and say that depending on what uh, version you have, it might look a little different. Uh, but this is mine. This is on 2.2. But uh, let me go ahead and just explain a little bit of each one. First one here is the Wi-Fi. If you click on it it will begin to try and activate that's when it's dim green light underneath it just wait until it becomes brightly brightly lit and once that you if you're near Wi-Fi it will show up uh, you know as Wi-Fi and you'll be going getting internet off of your Wi-Fi not 3G or 4G if you're not near a Wi-Fi um, point then you know you just run off of 3G or 4G so keep an eye on the, the symbol on the top the next one is Bluetooth what Bluetooth does is it's you know it's basically a variety of different uh, you know equipment and stuff that you can actually uh, connect to your phone uh, mostly it's going to be for the hands-free um, you know, that the you can talk to, make calls, which is hands-free, devices, headsets. There are various other things like controllers or keyboards even. If you're not actually using Bluetooth, make sure that you turn it off because it does use up a lot of battery. Luckily, you can just tap it and to turn on and tap it again to turn it off. The next one is the GPS. Uh, for power on and off. Uh, right now it's obviously on. Uh, this is, uh, you know, for any GPS applications you need, like maps or location finders, anything like that, it uses that. Um, it's, you know, you do save more battery if it's off, but, you know, I've left it on. It didn't seem to be too much of a problem. Next one is Data Sync. It's, I'm actually not entirely, you know, deep on what it is, but I'm sure all the different apps actually you know they need to sync or you know I know definitely your email accounts will definitely sync with the OS uh, that you can turn on and off the last one finally is brightness and that could be definitely useful if your phone doesn't have like a auto brightness or you left it off or you don't want to use it you can actually turn the power uh, on and off and low and high so like right now it's on high now it's actually off. Of course, it doesn't look too much different, but actually it does change different. And then there's a low, and then there's a high. Uh, this is definitely good, especially if you're like indoor and it's dark. You could put it low and save actually battery. Not to mention, it, you know, if it's too bright in the eyes, that's not good either. And of course, if you're outside, you want to have it bright. So, I mean, this basically covers uh, the power control for the Android. OS. Uh, hopefully this helped and uh, leave any questions if you have any uh, concerns or whatever and have a good day and see you next time.